Good afternoon everyone and welcome to my live video. I'm Hannah from Osha Slings and today I'm going to be introducing you to some brand new products that we have coming this week and also our new sling release. So do say hello when you've joined me today. Let me know where you're tuning in from and also what you are most excited about going into the winter. <laughs> so here in Edinburgh, hi Pam, lovely to have you with us today, I hope you're well. Hi Becky, lovely to have you. Oh good, it looks like lots of you have joined me already today. Um, I would love it if someone could share this video into Clan Osha, our Facebook community group and that way everyone will hear about us and do let me know when you've done that for me. Hi there Claudia from, oh snowy Finland, wow the snow has arrived in Finland, oh my goodness, is that good news or is that bad news? Let me know. Hi there, thank you Pam for sharing the video. Hi Maureen, hi there Elise, lovely to have you. Hi Luca, hi Annika, hello Natasha. Oh brilliant, so today we have got a brand new tartan sling to show you and then we have two new throw styles and these are brand new product for us so I can't wait to show you them. <laughs> Hi there Annika, you're saying you're here for the Shire. Well, that's coming up shortly. First of all, we're going to look at the new tartan. So it's been a little while since we've brought out a new tartan and we've been working away behind the scenes to bring you a really lovely modern tartan. Isn't it beautiful? So the inspiration for this tartan has come from the Scottish Highlands, of course, being based in Scotland and in Edinburgh. Um, we're always looking to our surroundings to bring us new inspiration. So this tartan is an oversized tartan check, you can see that um, there when I'm holding it up and when I put this on as a wrap you'll see that it just looks brilliant having those slightly bigger checks so that um, whichever way you carry your baby you always see something a little bit different and it just adds to the modern feel of the tartan. So this tartan is unique to Osha and we've looked to the lovely pinky heathery tones that you see up on the low lying hills up north in the North Highlands of Scotland and also at this time of year this so this lovely autumnal tartan. So this time of year um, you get all these lovely rusty tones, these beautiful rusty tones and it's all of the bracken and all of the kind of colours changing in the environment. So um, this sling is is our new heather tartan which is inspired by the autumn colours that you see up north. So I'm wondering if anyone has visited um, Scotland, the Highlands before, let me know, let me know where you went, how, what you thought of it and um, I'd love to hear more. I myself am just back from a trip to the Isle of Skye which was just so scenic and so beautiful um, and certainly there was a lot of these colours around. I think the pinkiness of the heathers kind of died down a little bit but it also goes this kind of rusty tone whenever it gets right into the winter so, um, so yeah. Now this sling is woven with a new yarn. So we have got a new recycled yarn that we're using for this one. And it's a really brilliant um, eco-friendly yarn. So it is made up of pre and post consumer cotton. So it's got a lovely cotton feel to it. Um, it's been through our soft touch finishing process, but I know that that will soften up even more. So it'll be lovely floppy, It'll be super smooth to the touch. Um, already it's very mouldable, it's easy to tie with and it's got a great balance of kind of grip and glide. So when I'm pulling it over my shoulders there, I'm really feeling um, it kind of stay in place and it's got a really nice kind of texture to it. And you do also feel the weave of the tartan, you know, so you do feel that lovely um, ridge of the kind of twill weave, I believe that is, um, <laughs> but I will correct you if I'm wrong. Um, so it's a really lovely texture and it's super grippy actually. So it's um, 
made up of pre and post consumer um, cotton. Uh, so that means that it's um, recycled either from the process in terms of making the cotton or afterwards. And these two yarns are blended together and we then have 40% recycled, 60% uh, recycled cotton and 40% cotton to make up the sling. So, um, oh lovely, we've got our tester here today, Mariella, thank you for joining us. So um, you've said, uh, so Mariella's been testing the sling for quite a few weeks now and I believe you have maybe a one-year-old and a six-year-old if I'm remembering correctly and she's saying that it will be amazing when it's broken in and her two rappies loved this sling. Um, so I can absolutely, this one hasn't been through a wash, um, so I think that it will be a really, um, really, really lovely once it's softened up. Um, oh, uh, Marielle is correcting me. A three-year-old and almost seven. Wow. So super supportive as well, of course, this, um, this blend. So let me pop my baby in here and um, tell you a little bit more about how it feels and the weight. And then we'll get on to those lovely recycled properties afterwards. So Isabeau is saying, I live next to the heather, I'm trying hard to resist this. It's such a beautiful, um, <laughs> I actually think this would really suit you, um, Isabeau, with your lovely red hair. Um, certainly we had our um, model, Judy, who's got the most beautiful red hair. She modelled it for us and it just set off the sling um, perfectly. <laughs> lovely. Um, Isabel says, how do you always wear the perfect outfit to compliment the rat? Oh, thank you, Isabel. That's a lovely compliment. <laughs> well, I do try my hardest, but I do also just wreck, raid through my wardrobe and see what I've got that's going to be best. <laughs> um, lovely. I'm just going to check if there's any other comments. Do let me know if you've got any questions at all about what I'm showing you today or OSHA or anything. Um, I'm here for a chat and to tell you all about our new items. So lovely. <laughs> Isabel says, yes, the model pictures are amazing and they're beautiful. Um, lovely. So Alison says, hi from Germany. I'm not usually a tartan fan, but this tart tartan heather is gorgeous. Yes, it really is a unique modern take on um, the traditional Scottish tartan. So we are really pleased to hear that you like it. I um, love the colourways. So it is a lovely all-rounder, this sling. So it's 295 GSM. So it's a really nice medium wrap, medium weight wrap. Um, so I would say certainly if you're using this with a newborn, it'll be absolutely lovely. Um, it's not too bulky. It is very easy to tie. And um, I'm just going to pop it in a front wrap cross carry and tie it under bum. I've got a size four with me today. So you can see those lovely colors. And depending on which carry you choose to do, you know, you will see different parts of that check. And of course, my baby's quite small, so you will only see the sections um, that are over their back. But it's lovely, you know, you can decide you prefer a little bit more of the navy and the white or flip it, um, slide it along a little bit and you'll get more of these uh, colours going over here. So I'm just going to tighten all this up just now. We'll make some lovely fancy finishes as well, I think, with this. And um, it doesn't feel too thick um, in hand, and it, it is actually quite cushy as well on the shoulder, you know, and I think Mariella found this as well, that it does have a hint of cush on it. Um, it's not bulky, um, and it just kind of glides over the contours of you and your baby. So I'll just tighten that up, you can see. Oh, I have gone for the wrong one underneath after all. <laughs> I'm tightening the underneath pass, which is not the easiest way to do it, but never mind. So it being a 100% cotton wrap, this one is going to be really easy care. It's breathable as well, so it's going to be good for wearing in all climates, all year round. You can layer up underneath. Um, of course, with baby, remember that one layer of the sling is an extra layer. So if you're carrying in the winter time, 
then you probably just want to go for um, just keep keep it you know just be aware of that that an extra layer and there also will receive your body heat so it's a brilliant way of keeping warm and also regulating their temperature so if you are out and about it's a lot easier to tell whether they're too hot if they're feeling a bit flushed or whether they're a little bit cold you'll be able to tell that by um, holding on to uh, just kind of keeping an eye on them and making sure that their toes and their hands are, have got um, are covered as well so um Yes, this one will be lovely um, for all year round and our tester certainly um, reassured us that absolutely you can use this with a toddler um, or a bigger baby and um, you may want to do a double layer carry for it, for it if you are um, going for a, um, a heavier child. But certainly for a, a little one, um, you know, even... <laughs> I mean, it really is feeling lovely and soft and snuggly and weightless there with my baby doll. So that's the Heather Tartan. And that's a front wrap cross carry tied under bum. And I've got size four and there's just a little bit of a tail left over there so far. So let me see if there's any questions here and then we'll chat a little bit more about those lovely properties of the recycled cotton. Oh, Jordan says, good morning, what a pretty, pretty colour combo. Thanks, Jordan. Um, it is a beautiful combination. Um, <laughs> lovely. Um, Isabel is asking, is it as soft as a regular new all cottons? Yes, I think it definitely is. Um, I think that it may not be quite as soft straight out of the bag, um, but once you wash it and um, dry it and use it and wear it, it will become really nice and soft and floppy. I mean, it is already perfect to use from the bag. Um, it doesn't have quite as much drape so far, um, but... I think that that will come um, and it certainly is super easy to tighten and it's really nice and grippy which is lovely as well. Um, lovely. <laughs> okay so as I mentioned this is a brand new yarn so we're using um, eco cotton, a recycled cotton yarn and I just want to highlight a little bit about the benefits of using recycled yarn because it's something that we are looking into more and more um, every time we um, come up with our new designs and our new um, uh, weave plan and we're always looking to see what can we use as sustainable yarn, recycled yarns, bringing something extra so that we are making sure to protect the planet for the future and that is something that is really important to OSHA and it's always been something that is important from day one from when Zoe set up the company over 10 years ago. Um, we're really um, conscious to make sure that we are doing as much as we can to eliminate waste, to make sure that we are using sustainable and um, responsibly sourced yarns and of course recycled where possible. Also our um, if you're not aware, our uh, workshop is actually 100% powered on solar power and we even um, create more solar um, through the panels in our roof, which we actually, solar energy, which we actually sell back to the national grid for other um, for other businesses and to heat um, other homes. So um, using recycled yarns is definitely something that will be continuing and we hope and we know that our OSHA customers are as passionate about this as we are. So um, this particular um, yarn that's been used in the Heather Tartan um, equates to 34% less CO2 emissions, 38% less energy consumption, 60% less chemical consumption, 67% less water consumption um, than regular cotton. So it really is um, definitely the future in terms of looking at cotton in particular. Can we use recycled cotton? And if so, we will, because it is just such a, a brilliant um, yarn and fabric, but it's also, um, yeah, absolutely helping for helping to protect the planet and making sure that we're making the right choices. And of course, every OSHA that you um, purchase, we also can contribute, that also contributes to planting a tree in the Scottish Highlands. So Trees for Life is who we support. 
So a proportion of all of our profits go towards um, planting trees, which helps to offset any carbon and emissions that we do produce. So um, yeah, so I just wanted to highlight that because it's something that is obviously really important the whole world is talking about it just now with COP26 in Glasgow and our sister city Glasgow just west of Edinburgh um, so it's a really important um, topic and it's definitely something that we are super interested in, keen in and it's something that's been there from day one for OSHA so thank you all for um, supporting us and supporting um, an ethical choice when shopping for new consumer items. So thank you so much and we will go on to showing you the brand new throws. <laughs> I don't want to take this off now, I'm thinking should I just leave it on? <laughs> I think I'll take it off just so that I can really get close and show you all the bits and bobs but if you would like to um, if you would like me to, to, to show you anything else to do with the tartan sling then I can do that for you afterwards. <laughs> all right. So, brand new throws, and here we have Pavonis Ada. So, I want to try and fit this all in to the screen. But first of all, I'm going to show you this beautiful pearled edge fringing. <laughs> so, this is a brand new. Um, technique that we haven't um, made use of before. So our lovely designer Carmen has worked really closely with our weaving mill in England and we have decided to come up with a short run um, of this brand new style of throws. <laughs> Who likes the fringing? Do let me know if you like the look of this. So of course um, you will have seen many blankets um, with this kind of style of finishing and we just thought hey why not try that for Osha and um, it's such a beautiful and elegant way to finish off the um, the throws and it's just really adds to the whole kind of look and feel of the blanket or the throw so these are also um, made from oh I was just going to say these are these are um, lovely, snuggly, woolly <laughs> throws. So they are made from 60% merino lamb's wool and 40% wool and they are so soft and snuggly. So I have seen some comments around how, how does it feel? What does the wool feel like? Because I know that not everyone is a fan of wool. So I would say that it is honestly very soft. So you do find that merino lamb's wool is a really lovely soft yarn and I think just the way that it's been finished, the kind of texture of it, it doesn't feel particularly prickly. I mean obviously it is wool so you are going to feel a woolly texture um, but it's so soft and almost like kind of fuzzy to the touch. Um, it is really lovely, it's kind of cushy and bouncy and spongy and all that lovely softness and it's super warm. So because it's 100% wool, it is going to be a lovely accessory for your home, particularly in the winter. It will keep you nice and warm um, and it will just be lovely on your sofa or at the end of your bed. Um, so we've woven this one in Pavonis. Um, and I will show you the back as well, this beautiful peacock design. So of course you can actually choose which way you prefer to have it on your, laying on your sofa. The only different thing um, with the back is that the label is on the back, but that's such a small part of the whole throw. In fact, I can't even find it here. <laughs> <laughs> um, that really you can decide whether you want to show it with the lovely deep teal background or that beautiful um, pearly white background um, as well. So let me see if there's any questions here and then I will get into a few more details. Um, Alright, okay. 
let me see. Mary Ellis says, looks amazing. And Amna says, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> Lucas says, I love the fringes, but I think my cat will attack it. Yes, I suppose that could be um, one downside of having some pretty little fringes going on at the end of your throw. Um, and Jordan says, oh, this looks so cosy with winter coming. I, absolutely, it's just what you need to snuggle up with um, in this winter. Um, lovely. And Annika's asking, will the throws be available in extra large size? No, I don't think these are extra large. I think these are the standard size of the throws um, for the two that we have coming in this, um, this run. Um, I don't believe they are extra large. Um, yes, so Claudia is asking, does short run mean it's limited? Do you know how many pieces have been made? Yes, I do know that. So for the Pavonis, we have got uh, 24 um, in total. So we decided to do, it's almost like a kind of prototype run, a, a test run, to see um, whether you all like them, what we think, how it works. Um, so it's quite a short run. Yes, they are going to be quite limited. Um, and I will get onto the Shire in a second. Oh, Angela, price range, good question. I will get that for you. I'm awful at remembering to bring the prices along with me. I will pop, get that for you and pop that on the chat after I finish the call. Um, so there's one extra little thing to point out about these throws is that they're not only finished differently at the end here, with the pearled fringe, fringing edge. So that's a pearled edge, because it's like twisted um, all the way along. But we also have it finished off along the edge um, like this, which is a lovely, elegant way of finishing the blankets on the loom. So that's also something a little bit different. Um, it's very common, you will have seen this in many other, um, with many other accessories, throws, blankets and scarves. But um, certainly this is something new for Osha and we really love it. Um, so it's just a simple um, edging which is finished on the loom with a specific uh, weave structure along the edge. So I have uh, now got the Shire to show you. So this is the Pavona, so that's our, the the Osha design that we chose to weave um, for, um, I guess, the non-Middle Earth items. And then we have the Shire. So for the Middle Earth fans among us, we have this beautiful Shire design. <laughs> I'm going to try and show it to you so that you can see all the way along. But if you see at the bottom here, um, Maybe if I do it like this, I'll be able to show you as we go gathering it up. And you can see how lovely and thick it is. It's beautiful. And there you've got the shire at the end. It's just such a lovely colourway as well. I think this beautiful kind of muted teal tone um, in a kind of melange colour. So it's like kind of mottled. Um, which is really, really pretty. And then you've got that lovely pearly white. So it's very versatile and I think it would suit many, many um, homes or other furnishings that you might have. And this one again has the beautiful pearled fringes at the end and that lovely elegant um, finish along the edge as well. So, um, so rag Ragni is asking, did you mention the fibre blend? So the fibre blend for these are 60% merino wool and 40% wool. So they have a really lovely um, woolly texture. They're soft and cuddly, spongy, cosy, 100% um, wool basically. Um, so they are a really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful item for the winter time. Luke is asking, will the Shire be remade? I love it, but right now is not an option for me. It's very possible. These definitely, um, we may reweave them. Yes, so it's they're not limited in terms of, it's not like we wouldn't ever weave them again, but we would obviously just want to um, 
wait and see how the release goes and what everybody thinks. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> I wonder how t you know TV presenters deal with um with uh needing to sneeze in the middle of a live video um, I think it's sometimes there's little bits of fluff come, come up in um, whenever I'm playing with the with the blankets and the fabrics and just tickling my nose um, okay so um, Anna is asking will the throws be fastest fingers on the OSHA website yes so at the moment we do plan to list them on the OSHA website um, if anything changes we will let you know on the secret stash happy hour thread in Clan OSHA. So if you're unsure at all about the, um, if you want to know the most up-to-date information then you can check out there but I believe at the moment the plan is still to use the OSHA site for these. Um, yes, price range, Angela, price range I will get back to you with that. Um, now the um, amount of shire that we have available. So um, with the with the the um, edges with the kind of uh, loom finished edge, we have got um, twenty three of these ones. But we've also woven as part of of a little experiment. Um, so we've also woven the um, shire with a hemmed edge as well. So it, they both still have the lovely pearled fringing on the end like so but this one, um, these ones and there's 10 of these and it'll be clear on the website which is hemmed and which is normal. So normal is this one, hemmed is this one and that is a normal um, blanket um, hem. So it's our normal hem that we use for slings our blankets some of our blankets anyway and um, so that goes all the way along there so if you prefer one or the other then you know what to go for um, but we have only got 10 of these with the hemmed edge and we have 23 I believe of the Shire so about 33 Shire overall <laughs> so hopefully that will be enough for everybody who's looking for one this time around and um, but of course it's always difficult to know for sure um lovely okay let me just see if there's any more questions at all um is the Shire is the colour uh, the same as Shire Daigle, it looks a little similar. It does look similar, but it is a different um, colour, very, very slightly in terms of the the wool. Um, it's, it's, like a di it's a different yarn than the Shire Daigle. So although it is very, very similar overall in colour, like teal, this lovely kind of deep kind of muted teal colour with pearly white, um, it's similar, but it's not the same. You can see the kind of mottled texture there. It's like a melange um, yarn for this one. Um, hopefully that helps you, Becca. Um, I'm Anna, same question. Rohan piece, it looks like it on my screen. Very close to Rohan piece and Shire Daigle, but they're not exactly the same because they are they they're not they, this one has not been specifically dyed um, to the same colour as the um, reflecting pool um, warp, which the Rohan and Shire was woven on. Not the same, but similar. <laughs> um, lovely. Lucas says, "Awesome! It's amazing. My Hobbit loving heart just danced a little jig." <laughs> That is so lovely. What a lovely thing to say. I hope you're lucky in the release tomorrow. Um, okay, lovely. All right. So, does anyone have any more questions for me? Becca says, lovely, thank you. That's great. So we will have our um, Secret Stash Happy Hour tomorrow evening from 7 until 8 p.m. GMT. And you're all welcome to join us for some fun chatter. We'll have some sneak peeks of next week's releases. We have quite a few back-to-back -back releases this, um, at this time of year. Um, we don't have any more accessories. I should say that actually because I know that um, 
that this was a little bit of an extra surprise on top of the throws that we released um, last month or two months ago. So um, this is this is it for the accessories. <laughs> you can obviously order an accessory, a scarf or a shawl, be lovely for winter, lovely for gifting. Shawls are brilliant because they can be used as scarves, shawls, as a um, shorty baby carry. So um, yes, we you'll be able to order them on made to order in terms of accessories, but we don't have any new mugs, unfortunately. Um, and we also don't have... Um, any new throws or scarves coming between now and Christmas. So if you are looking for something special for a treat for um, gifting or maybe a gift for yourself, then um, definitely don't hang back. Um, this is what we have available for now. Um, oh, okay. So Catherine has asked, Hannah, please can you tell us when the new fronds is coming? It is coming next week. <laughs> Yes, it's coming next Wednesday. So I will be doing my video next Thursday, next Tuesday, and I'll be able to show you the new fronds. And it might be on a colorway that you all are familiar with from um, past release at this time of year. As a little hint for you. Um, so we will have... Um, those, uh, yes, those coming up, and you can order accessories, obviously wrap throws and everything like that that you want to order via made to order. Um, but these are the accessories. So, um, yes, Isabel, what color is it? So yes, my my hint is that it is on a lovely dual toned warp that you may have seen some time before. <laughs> um, and yes, of course, I can show you a close up of the tartan. Um, and I, we will have more details on the um, fronds next week. So this is the lovely Heather Tartan. It's a very nice kind of rusty tone um, with this beautiful pink. And then you've got a nice kind of navy underneath with this lovely light. Um, white check coming across it as well. Far away and close up. And it has got this lovely texture all the way over and then you can see all of the different um, kind of checks that are created with the tartan as they um, repeat all the way over the sling. So that's a close up for the tartan again and this is the beautiful Heather tartan which is our new modern tartan which is coming out tomorrow evening and I just absolutely love this um, beautiful Scottish design. Um, Kate is asking will the made to order for Zorro still be open tomorrow so we can order both? Yes I believe the Zorro will be open all the way to the end of the day I think we'll close it first thing on Thursday morning so you can order both. Um, which is good. Um, oh yes, Mariella is saying, I will do close-ups and not pictures if you like. That would be brilliant, Mariella. Do pop those in the clan of the tartan. I think that would be really nice to see um, those lovely close-up pictures or, and also the not as well of, on this one. Um, and thank you so much for doing such a great job of testing it out. Um, beautiful new Heather tartan. So for those who are tartan lovers or who just really like something kind of fresh and modern or enjoy the colours then definitely one to have a look at. Um, so Freya's as saying, can someone update me about the blend and wrapping qualities? So what I'll do is I will pop the um, this video straight up onto our Facebook page in a second and you can rewind all the way back to the start and you can learn everything you need to know about the beautiful tartan sling that's coming tomorrow. Um, lovely. So the tartan, the Heather tartan will be available as made to order and it will be open for a week. So you'll be able to order this one over the next week. And um, we will be doing our secret stash happy hour tomorrow evening. Come join us for some fun, some giveaways, some chatter and um, the release of the throws and the tartan. 
lovely. I'm just checking for any last picture, any last questions. Um, lovely. Okay. Okay, thank you all so much for joining me today. I've really enjoyed chatting with you all and I look forward to um, speaking with you next Tuesday when we'll look at our next week's um, new releases for the slings. Um, glad you have got to see the gorgeous throws up close and this brand new through fringing techniques technique and um, it's so great to get your feedback on that. So thank you all for watching today and I wish you all a wonderful afternoon or evening ahead. Bye everyone!